So today's Nicole's fourth year here at Titan, and uh, John and Sharice got her some flowers. So here we go. Oh my God! Thank you. Oh, hey. Wow. Happy anniversary to me. Yes. So four years. Four years. It's an amazing feeling because it's so much growth that I've experienced starting from the front desk to now being the office manager. So it's a good feeling all the way up from the bottom. <laughs> so what's your favorite thing about working with Titan? Um, I would say that they do have the opportunity to grow. So I love that I was able to start all the way from the bottom. Now I'm running the office pretty much. So it's a, it's a great feeling. That's probably my favorite part. So how far are you going? Um, I mean, hopefully, as far as I, as I can go. Hopefully running my own office one day, you know, in a different location. That's my goal. We just want to give a big shout out to Nicole. Um, we're really proud of you being with us for four years. I don't know how she's standed me for four years now, so bless your heart. It entails and <laughs> takes a lot to be a part of Titan Medical Soldier Center. Soldier status. Um, you've went all the way from the bottom to the top, per se, right? Um, and there's a lot more growth to go. Yeah. So we're really proud of you. Stay on track. And that's what it takes to be a part of the Type Medical Center team. So you guys all take note and give a big shout out to Nicole on her four-year anniversary. What's up guys, John here with Big Drew, and we're gonna go over five tips to help you guys get stronger and not get hurt in the gym every time. These tips and tricks me and Drew use, and they're gonna set you up for long-term success and results with keeping you healthy and strong. The first one, hydrate. Yes, definitely wanna hydrate, guys. The muscle is made mostly of water, as everybody, well not everybody knows, but if you guys don't know, the muscle is made up of a lot of water. So you, if, the, if there's not water in there, that's how it tears, which I've done. Absolutely. I've torn both biceps. <laughs> um, but you want to make sure you're hydrated when you go in the gym. You want to make sure the muscle is basically lubricated so when you're lifting heavy, it doesn't tear. Yeah. I'm trying to compare it to like maybe a piece of paper. If a piece of paper is bone dry, it just tears easy. If it's wet, it's a little bit harder to tear. The muscle is the same way. So you want to keep your body hydrated. And also, it's going to help you from getting dizzy. It's yep. going to help you from cramping. Yep. And it's also going to help you know feel better. If you, if you sweat a lot, you also want to hydrate too. So I'll always, always stay hydrated. And don't just hydrate at the gym. Yep. A lot of times people don't drink enough. They bring a gallon of water to the gym. They chug that gallon at the gym. That's actually worse because their body's not used to the water. So when right. they take it in, they're just going to put, piss it right back out. Right. So what you want to do is hydrate the night before, hydrate throughout the day. So that way the next day you go to the gym, you can still continue to sip your water, but it's actually going to affect you. And it's yep. not just going to be chugging water. Yep. You want to continuously drink water the same way you continuously have your meals. Yep. You guys know meals every two to three hours have water every 30 minutes to an hour. If you don't have time for it, set the reminder on your phone. Yep. If you drink one bottle of water every hour, you're over a gallon of water every day. Absolutely. So it's really not that hard to get your water in. Just make sure you drink eight bottles of water a day, which is a gallon, yep. and you won't have that muscle tear. Absolutely, so like Drew was talking about, so not only is the muscle mainly consistent of water, but the body's over 70% of water. That's right, so your body is basically made up of a lot of water. Your yeah. blood, everything that goes into it is water-based, so water's, it's essential for your hydration and for your health, along with getting results. And not only just helping you hydrate, but it's also gonna help flush toxins out through the day, especially when you're working out and you're sweating right. and you're getting all these toxins out of your body. You gotta replenish those fluids so it's key so you don't dehydrate and you don't end up hurt in the hospital right. or, or just not looking good because even your vascularity can depend on the amount of water that you're continuously pushing through your body at that point. So right. stay hydrated. Yes. It's essential for your body, essential for your health, and great for your workouts. The second one, stretch and warm up before you start. Yes. So I think, you know, the older that me and Drew get, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the more that we have to stretch and warm up to make yeah. sure that our bodies are ready to definitely take on the progressive <laughs> load or weight that yeah. we're going to push or the strain that we're going to push on our body yeah. without hurting ourselves. Yeah. So I definitely stretch, definitely warm up. If you don't, if you don't like to stretch, because there's a thing where stretching fatigues the muscle, and a lot of people don't want to stretch too much because they feel it fatigues the muscles. They can't lift as much or do as much volume or whatever they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Then do a warm up. Right. If you're doing legs, get on the bike, walk, do something. Don't just go right into your workout from 
uh, sitting at a desk all day or yeah. even if you're walking around all day, you're not walking around in the gym. So you're not doing the same movements in the gym as you're doing throughout the rest of your day. Mm -hmm. So you want to warm up those movements to get them ready. Right. So even if you're squatting, just do some body weight, body weight warm ups. You don't have to necessarily put your legs behind your head like a yoga instructor, yeah. <laughs> but you want to just make sure you get blood in the muscle. You want to make sure everything is lubricated and going that way you're not going to have, you know, the tears and all that stuff yep. too. Tears, so if you don't stretch, warm up. If you don't warm up, stretch. Yep. But if you don't do it, if you do both of them, it's even better. Yes. But yes. um, do definitely do one of the two. Otherwise, it's only a matter of time for something pops, and you can't look good, and you can't train. And it's a whole nother issue. Then you, it never gets back. You know, Absolutely. So it's it's a big part of your workout, and for you to get a healthy workout without having any injuries. Obviously, stretching, especially when you get older and stuff like that, you're gonna feel like your joints might be hurting you more. They might be a lot more tighter. Muscles, ACLs, all these different things uh, go right along with stretching and warming up. Whether it's just stretching, you know your if you're doing chest and you're doing your shoulders or your legs or whatever it may be, getting the blood flowing. That's the old yeah. term that we used to use. Uh, at that point, you're getting the blood, you're getting everything stretched out. Um, so it's not gonna be real tight. So if you go in there and you do have a pretty stressful, you know, like session or, or, yeah. or set, um, you don't hurt yourself on the way up or anything like that. You don't feel pops, you don't you know, hurt shoulders, knees, joint areas. Because like you said, once you get hurt, mm. it's gonna start putting you behind the, you know, the eight ball at that point. And then you have to work your way up just to where you're at now, just to get ahead and start progressing again. And mentally, it will basically, you'll be screwed. Yes. Because yes. you're not gonna be able to go to the gym. You're gonna yeah. wanna go to the gym. Stay Everything else in your body is gonna be working fine but that one muscle yeah. group yeah. and you can't work out. You don't wanna be lopsided so you can't just work out one side. Absolutely. It's not worth it, guys. No, it definitely isn't. And you know, it, it's it's true what they say that you know everything is connected. So if you hurt, let's say your shoulder, you're not going to be able to do bicep curls, or it might hurt you, shoulder lifts, bench press, and all these different things. So everything's connected. So make sure you guys realize that, and you guys are doing proper stretching or warm ups, okay, before you work out. Number three, don't go the heaviest right when you get in the gym. Don't be egotistical. Yeah. Okay, I think we've all been there. Yeah, um, I used to be. I used yeah. to be that guy. Like, I used to be that guy goes to the gym like peak hour, 6.30, and yep. throw four or five or 3.15 in my first set and just watch people. <laughs> Now I could do it, but I'm yeah. going to be, you know, injured. I'm going to have, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's not the same. Yeah. It's not Work the same. smarter, not harder, basically, yeah. at this point. You know, you go in there and you don't have to lift the heaviest in the gym. Make sure your form is correct. Yeah. Make sure you're getting the right amount of reps in your set. Mm -hmm. And that could be, you know, depending on what you are or where you're at, right. it could be a lot more, a lot less. Just make yeah. sure that you're getting that proper uh, workout in without going the heaviest and being egotistical of girls around or whatever. Yeah, guys yeah, around, yeah. Whatever yeah. It is. That's exactly what it is, too. Yeah. You know, you, when you go into the gym, if you have, if, say, if, if you got to have a game plan too so exactly. when you go in the gym when you have a game plan that I'm gonna work out shoulders or I'm not even that say if you have a game plan I'm gonna work out legs and then you go in there and you see everybody on the bench yeah you see everybody crowd around you see guys lifting heavyweight you see people impressed with the heavyweight yeah. and you know you could warm up with that weight yeah so if you don't if you don't stick to the game plan you went in there to train legs and then now all of a sudden your ego is kicking in you want to go over there just to show off and get injured, yeah. you know, you gotta, you gotta stick to what you're normally supposed to be doing. Don't just do it because there's a crowd of people. Wait for the crowd of people if you're a power lifter at the event, or if you're a bodybuilder at the show, or if it's spring break and you wanna show off your body, or if it's vacation with the wife and kids and you wanna show off for the pictures. Yeah. Wait for that to, yep. to show off. Don't just randomly do it. No for the gym with just a bunch of heads Strangers. you don't really even know. Yeah, yeah. for an IG pic or something <laughs> like that. You know? It's not worth it. So that's number four, having a game plan. Yes. Having a game plan right when you walk in there or having a game plan beforehand, knowing what you're gonna hit as far as body part wise, mm -hmm. how many sets possibly, knowing what you're gonna do right going in there, not just going in there and, and going off the seat of your pants or flying off the seat of your pants. Now, once you get more experience this season, I, I think, you know, if you got an extra time to go in there, you're like, listen, I'm just gonna go hit the gym. Yeah. You can go in there and you can start hitting it and maybe do that. Mm. But right off the bat, when you're really trying to get somewhere, have a game yeah. plan. It's like it's like using a roadmap, right? Mm. Or having those directions beforehand of where you're gonna go. Mm. You know exactly how you're going to get there and you're laying out each step. Mm. Yeah. Um, you know, now you can take this in your, your brain as far as remembering of what you're doing, or you have to write it down. That's fine. Yeah. And, we have, and if you guys don't have a game plan, we have one now we right. have the titan fitness right. program done. we have the game plan so if you guys don't want to come up with it yourself yep. get our game plan yep. take it and then use the other four things we're giving you and go to work out and exactly and exactly we will give you the lowdown on exactly what you should be doing when you should be doing it so you can always have us there for help next one fifth and final one progressive load to get stronger all right so we talked about you know staying healthy not getting hurt in the gym and getting stronger how do you do this 
So it's progressive overload. That means that you're working up more weight every time that you go in there. Um, and it's specific, and it don't have to be a lot of weight. So right, a lot of right. people think that, listen, I gotta go up 50 pounds, 100 pounds, whatever it is, um, you know, next time I go in there, because I'm just trying to get stronger and faster. You know, we know that muscles get stronger faster than ligaments and tendons and stuff like that. So you have to progressively get everything stronger and be on the same level. Yes, you don't want to just, and you don't want to just get into, um, if you're trying to get stronger, don't just do more reps with the same weight. So a lot of, a lot of people go in, oh, I bench this amount of time. I can bench this weight for 10 reps. Right. My goal is to get it to 15 reps. If you're trying to get stronger, increase right. the weight. Right. Keep the rep range the same. So right. don't just, I mean, I, I've fallen victim to that too. Yep. Um, but you want to make sure that you, uh, if you want to get stronger, don't just increase your reps. A lot, right. of, I see that a lot of times. A lot of guys are like, yeah, I used to be able to. Um, your stamina might be better, Absolutely. but doesn't mean you're stronger. Absolutely, you know, it stamina might be the heart is kicking a little Absolutely. bit, but it doesn't mean you're stronger. So I mean, you may have more stamina, but if you actually want to push more weight one time, yep. you know, you got to get the weight. Even if it's the little two point five, the little girly two point exactly. five, you see, exactly. throw that on there. Throw a five pound on there. I mean, yeah. who cares? Like, you're getting stronger. You're yeah. you're adding it's more weight. On. Anything in life, you want to progress. So why not just do it in the gym with your weights? One hundred percent. Because if you stay at the exact same weight, and you're doing the exact same sets and stuff like that, like he's talking about, you're going to stay at that same weight, and you're not going to get any stronger. You're going to be great. You're going to be maintained, yeah. um, but you're not going to keep going up and progressing. And if you want the mirror to change, that's probably not going to change that much either. Right. So you right. always want to progress. You always want to do better. Anything, anything you do, even anything. with your diet, with your, with your parenting, with the, anything you want to do, you yeah. want to get better. So why not do it the same, the same, if you go to work every single day, if you work in the same job, making the same hourly wage or same salary, if you get mm -hmm. salary, if you had to, why would you, a lot of people go to the gym and I see these guys who go to the gym and they go in there, they'll, you know, they'll do squats three sets of 10, bench three sets of 10 and leave. They've been doing that for five, six years. Right. If I asked them if they made the same amount of money five, six years ago, they'd laugh at me. Yeah. But they're doing the same thing at the gym, so why not switch it up? Yeah. You know, it's got you got to get better in life. I'm never going backwards. I promise you that. Absolutely, they're they're expecting different results and doing the exact same thing. Yeah. And the definition of that is insanity. If you do the exact same thing over and over and over and expect a different result, that's insanity. Yes. So don't go insane. You know what you're supposed to do. Do it, okay? Yes. If you're going in there and you're putting the work, why not get a benefit out of it? All right. I, I do see this a lot too, like you were talking about. You see the exact same people in there doing the exact same. Thing. They're very consistent, yeah. being in there three or four days. And they're they, in shape too. I mean, they, they don't look great, though. but they look exactly the same. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So at that point, you want to change, you want to get a good change, and this is how to do it. Yeah. So these are just five tips and tricks that me and Drew came up with for you guys to stay healthy, stay strong, right, and not get hurt in the gym. That's it. Hydrate, stretch, warm up, don't go heavy, game plan, and make sure you have a progressive overload. Five tips, let's go. Also, 2 p.m. Tight Lifestyle Friday. Let's go. All right, guys, it's that time. We're busy, busy here, packing all this stuff up for another great event, Tight Medical Centers. But you know what? Daily life never stops, and especially for our team members. You know, birthdays, all these special days. We want to make sure that our team members are treated like family and that they feel appreciated. So right now, I got to go over, grab a cake, pick out a good card, right? Because that's special, and like a little $50 off gift certificate for one of our staff members because it's their birthday. We wanna make sure they feel appreciated and feel special on their big day. So come with me, we're gonna grab this cake and card and uh, present it to them and make sure that they feel special, a part of the Titan Medical Center family. Come on. So this place is called Clean Juice, right? So Clean Juice is, it's this place in uh, Fresh Kitchen, I guess the same owners made this concept, really good concept. So it's basically like fresh fruits and stuff like that. You know, obviously they make smoothies. So I get this like almost every day. I drink two a day right now. I'm so addicted to it. Here we go. Time to get a cake for our staff member, get a card, you know, so. I do this a lot. I've been doing this for almost, almost 10 years with the staff. No matter what, their birthday, I make sure that we give them a cake, we give them a card, and we give them a gift certificate, you know, to make them feel special, right? Because some, some of our staff members might not have family or people here to celebrate with. So Pete is on a, on a nutritional diet change too as well. I'm making sure Peter eats the best he possibly can. All right. Here we go. Let's go try to find this cake. Mm -hmm. All right. 
think Pink's gonna be the winner today. guys I know it's crazy times out there I just want to update you guys on what type medical center can help you guys out with we offer hormone replacement therapy medical weight loss vitamin amino acid injectable therapies rejuvenation detox blood draws and now we're offering primary care services and medicines directly to your doorstep that's right nationwide we can help you guys our medical providers can do a FaceTime or Skype with you guys all you have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. Also, you can go to the TitanMedicalCenter.com website and go right to the new patient paperwork tab, fill out the new patient paperwork, and we'll get back to you guys immediately. We're here for you guys, and remember, Titan Medical Center has your back. What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we are here with another episode of Cupid's Corner. So we want to thank you guys for joining us all the time and learning these tips and tricks that should help your relationship. Uh, it'll help you get to the next level, hopefully. It'll help hopefully ignite that spark that maybe was diminished out or wasn't as strong as it used to be before. Mm -hmm. So we have learned these different things through our relationship in 12 plus years going on. And you know, it's trials and tribulations. You gotta work through some of these things. Mm -hmm. But you learn some great things along the way, especially if you stay together, right? And that's that's the object, to have passion and be able to stay together for a long period of time and grow old together. Stick it out. That's what they say in the movies, right? We're gonna grow old with you together. I can't wait till I'm on like a little rocking chair and we're like rocking and just like, oh, this has been <laughs> such a great experience. Hopefully we'll have bionic bodies by that point, okay? <laughs> I don't wanna be sitting I'll see there. John, 90 years old, hopping around the backyard. You cute. know I like the new toy, so hopefully they'll have some good technology, and I'm <laughs> sure they will. But you know, this show, we really wanna cover, you know, a couple different things. One, um, kissing or being intimate with your partner. So this is good, and this is good for your health. Um, this actually ups oxytocin in, in the brain, in the body, and it lowers cortisol. So if you don't know what these things are, oxytocin is the happy hormone. Yes. Right? And cortisol is the stress hormone. Mm -hmm. Nobody, I mean, all of you guys, I'm sure, with everything going on, at some point in the past three months, your cortisol levels have probably been elevated because Absolutely. of the stress, you know? Absolutely. From work, your kids, personal things might be going on with mm -hmm. you and stuff like that. So, you know, you want to be intimate with your partner and kiss your partner and you might not know it, but you're actually helping yourself. Mm -hmm. And it does burn a little bit of calories. It's not a lot of calories, but it is, I guess it is some, but you can't, you know, that's not giving you a permission to eat junk food and be like, oh, well, I'll just kiss a lot more. No, the kiss work. is 
the kisses turn into other things that are cardiovascular activities. Oh. And then you can go eat a piece of cake. And then you can actually tell if you have the stamina or not, I guess, and if you need to work on your endurance or not, right? And we have things that maybe could help you do that too. But, you know, it really comes down to that. So be intimate with your partner. Kiss your partner, right? Because you'll obviously be helping yourself. So oxytocin, like I said, it's the, it's the happy hormone. It's the bonding hormone. Um, it's something that opens up trust with your partner okay um it, it, it's good for a lot of different things it's neurotransmitter as far as that goes and then you have cortisol so cortisol gets a bad rap I mean, mm -hmm. you're going to put some cortisol in it's going to go in the bloodstream now at high levels of anxiety or stress you're going to release more cortisol into the bloodstream and that can actually be bad for your health mm -hmm. right um and this can cause anxiety it can cause you to retain water or you know fat deposits you know at that point so you want to make sure that you're getting a good stress reliever too mm -hmm. if you're having all this stress and a lot of people are having stress right now so lower cortisol levels increase oxytocin levels and you guys should be good to go at least in that department anyway right <laughs> so that's one thing and if we're going to talk about hormones like oxytocin and mm -hmm. cortisol we might as well talk about how hormones affect relationships because mm -hmm. it does affect relationships okay? on many levels and this can be emotionally physically mentally yeah. um when i say emotionally i mean a lot of females out there even guys but a lot of females and guys could be either super moody because their hormones are off or they could be really emotional because their hormones are off and so you have to remember that you know say you guys have been intimate for five six seven eight nine ten years whatever and for some whatever reason you guys drop off and it's like well what's going on that could very well be a problem yes absolutely 100 percent. absolutely your partner might be feeling like why is this you know my partner being distant from me might what's going on fault. is it me mm -hmm. what are they doing what's mm -hmm. going on it, it wasn't like this and all of a sudden now it's it's, it's gotten this bad pattern here mm -hmm. you know and then that's not good because you know people like affection right especially when you're in this relationship and if it's been going on for that long um, now, hormones affect the body in different ways, right? We know that from the brain to the cardiovascular system, your metabolism, uh, keeping lean body mass on, you know, just feeling good all overall, mm -hmm. right? But hormones can obviously damage a relationship too because if the hormones are off, people might be moody, like you said, mm -hmm. and then your partner might feel some type of way about it and right. then they might go a different route. Right. So, I mean, hormones. Or you might even you might not even be interested in the bedroom. Yes. That's a big one. Yes. Especially for females. I'm yeah. just speaking from a female's perspective. Yeah. But if for whatever reason, let's just say that he doesn't want to be intimate anymore, and you know, it's just he usually got a one person's got to start it or another. But if they don't want to be inter like intimate with you anymore, then you kind of feel like maybe you did something wrong, and you guys haven't fought, nothing's going on, and you're saying, well. I hope it's not someone else. Right. Now you start thinking all these crazy things, which is never a good thing when it could just very well be low testosterone for a guy. Right. I mean, now our hormones can be affected with different things out there. It's not something you did per se. Mm -hmm. Now it could be toxins in the environment, you know, foods that we're eating from our food sources, uh, EDCs, endocrine disrupting chemicals mm -hmm. in the air that, that could be affecting you or putting on your body that we're absorbing mm -hmm. that could be affecting hormones and we see this. We know that hormones are going to decline with age for males and females. You know, mm -hmm. we're going to deteriorate and die. It, it's a fact of life, you mm -hmm. know. You know, you're going to pay taxes and, and you're going to die. That's <laughs> two things they say that's guaranteed, right? That's what you got to look forward to. But, for sure. you know, so you want to live your best life and most, you know, the quality of life. And that's where hormones can come into play, too. So mm -hmm. hormones can actually help a relationship. So a lot of guys that, you know, they have low testosterone, they might be feeling depressed or, uh, you know, their libido's down or... They just don't feel like themselves, right? They're Motivation, unmotivated, right? Drive. Concentration, yep. you know, all that stuff's there, and they're rare to go. So, at that point, we're the energy fatigue too. That's yeah. another one. Um, so, if they, you know, go in and they get blood checked and they get their testosterone levels optimized or back where it needs to be, everything comes back, mm -hmm. right? So now you got one partner that is optimized and ready to go. <laughs> this happens then, often, and this does happen a lot. We <laughs> get a lot of patients where the male comes in, right? And he gets optimized, he gets feeling back to his old self and we're raring to go. And then, you know, the wife, you know, she's about the same age. And at that point, me. you know, he's wanting to go all the time and have a good time. And, she's you know, like, she's like, oh my God, what's going on here? I just don't feel the same, right? 
And that's where they usually call up and they say, hey, listen, we want to get help just like my husband or significant other got help. Right. We want to be at that level. We want to feel good like that. We want to get back that feeling. Mm -hmm. And that's where we usually help out couples, and that usually makes a relationship better. We've changed a lot of relationships like that. Yes, yes. It's, it's helped a Very lot rewarding. of different relationships. Um, plus, it, it helps their quality of life. So mm -hmm. you're not even just helping the relationship, but their day-to-day -day life. Yep. So going to work, all that jazz. Getting up, I mean, you know, being interested in the things you used to do, you know, I mean, that's that's another thing. Thing that a lot of people lose sight of like oh, I just don't want to do it no more there might be a reason why or right. you know if you're feeling depressed so I mean, that's that's really where it is and you know hormones can you know disrupt at all different ages so people think it's got to be a specific age mm -hmm. at 30 years old as a male or you know for girls it, it might be you know 36 or whatever it might be but you know like I said hormones can be disrupted at all different ages mm -hmm. now especially for females let's talk about pregnancy in females so we know when you know, pregnancy happens, all different hormones are going on, mm -hmm. right? And then after birth, you know, they usually have depression, mm -hmm. right? Not all the time. Sometimes. 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 You're definitely going to feel off because your body just went through, you know, this huge change. Well, think about the hormones. Right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different hormones that are going on at that point. You know, waiting until afterwards, having the baby, making sure you, if you're going to breastfeed and stuff like that. And then mm -hmm. after you're all done with that and it's safe, or if you're using formula or whatever it is, get your hormones checked. See right. where they're at. Um, and at that point, you guys can adjust them and get back to feeling the way that you wanted to, get that baby body off, right? Because, I mean, girls want that. They're like, you know, I gained so much weight or I only gained 10 pounds, but I want to get this baby weight off. We have a lot of females that go through that. It, it, it's, it's a fact of life. Right. That, that, you know, that's what we're here. It's, as we procreate, and that's what it's going to do. It's going to affect hormones. Not 22 having a baby anymore, you know? I was 22 when we had our son. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody always forgets that me and John do have a little baby boy. Not so little. He's going up. About to be 11. 11 next 11 week. 11 years old. 11 next week. I, my body did pretty bounce much back. bounce back to some degree. Absolutely. But when you're pregnant, you're around your 30s, and you have a baby, it might be a little bit more complicated to bounce back. You might not just bounce back. <laughs> I mean, there's a hormone correction that went on, though. When females have different things, like PCOS, mm -hmm. uh, or these different things that could be affecting their hormones. Um, so everybody's different. And that's mm -hmm. where blood testing will really tell you what's going on inside your body. And it's not a cookie cutter thing. So you want to make sure that everybody's taking care of you, if that, that's what it is. Uh, if you want help with your hormones, you can always call or text us at Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. Um, check out our website, www.titanmedicalcenter.com. And always, great content and things will entertain you on our Facebook, uh, Instagram page, TikTok. You know, we've, That's got, a new one. we've got Twitter. So please go there, subscribe. YouTube has all our great videos. We've been open for over eight plus years now. So it's a lot of different content, instruction videos on some of the medications, um, lifestyle videos, just us out and about, having fun at some of the Titan Medical Center events. You'll see a lot more of this around town or around the state of Florida. So get ready. Titan <laughs> Medical Takeover is in full effect. So we want to thank you for tuning in to thank another Cupid's guys. Corner. Every Sunday at 11 a.m. Yep. on ABC. Titan Medical Health and Lifestyle Show. We are here for you guys. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.